Nvidia is apparently looking for a way to increase the power consumption beyond the PCIe Express specifications in some of their upcoming GeForce RTX 3000 series cards and they're doing this by using this new type of power interface. Now I've been following and reporting about Ampere for quite a while now and although we have seen leaks suggesting Nvidia's top flagship cards 3090 and the 3080 potentially getting pretty power hungry, this leaked power connector came right out of the blue. Now this leak is coming from a Chinese site called FC Power Up, and in today's video we're gonna look into this and what it might mean as a PC gamer. Alright, there's been quite a few theories as to why the leaked reference cooler has a single fan on the opposite side of each other. Is it just for aesthetic or is there a more practical reason behind it? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. Some people even call this fake, but I think it's safe to say that the level of details of the cooler is a strong indication that that it makes little to no sense trying to fake this. Our reports coming in suggest that the cooler itself could cost up to $150 just to make. Anyway, according to this new leak, reference cards built around the irregular PCB with a second power delivery PCB, which apparently is called PG142, may have a completely new power connector to be able to feed even more power than what's previously been possible with the older connectors. According to FC Power Up, the new connector is said to have a total of 12 pins and has the same physical size as the traditional 6 plus 2 pin solution of the PCI Express format. The new type of connector is rumored to offer up to 8.5 amps per pin while the standard PCI Express 6 pin connector allows for a total of 6.25 amps or 75 watts. Anyway guys, by using this new 12 pin connector, Nvidia can in theory deliver up to 34 amps or 408 watts. Now, 408 watts would be a significant upgrade compared to the 2080 Ti's 250 watt peak power draw. Now you might be thinking, how would this even work? Uh, this would ultimately require a new power supply, right? Well, it is actually possible to use adapter cables and using a dual 6 plus 2 pin cable would offer 300 watts from the power supply while the motherboard delivers 75 watts. And this would actually be enough to satisfy the top cards, which are Roman 2 consume up to 350 watts. Now that all being said, we have also seen rumors of a PG142 PCB, you know the same PCB with just a 4 pin power connector which makes the 12 pin connector making no sense. So that definitely raises a red flag. If Nvidia is supposed to deviate from the PCIe Express specifications, the 4 pin connector leak is then definitely fake. So while this is an interesting leak guys, it also raises quite a few question marks. Many people thought Ampere was gonna be quite power efficient, knowing that Nvidia is jumping on a more advanced manufacturing process node with Ampere. One underlying reason why we're seeing this many unusual leaks, and I guarantee you this guys, a bit of it has to be because of AMD. I think Nvidia had to rethink Ampere once they realized AMD wasn't screwing around with Big Navi and RDNA 2. I think they underestimated AMD and once they saw what RDNA 2 on the next gen consoles, PS PS5 and Series X were capable of, they saw that AMD had somewhat fixed the power consumption while not impacting the performance and this ultimately caught Nvidia off guard. Now initially Nvidia was gonna go with 7 nanometer from TSMC for Ampere, this however turned out to be a bit more complicated once they realized that AMD pretty much bought all available capacity and now they realized they had a serious problem, this ultimately led them to Samsung's 8 nanometer problem process, which we think most of Ampere will be based off of. While this 8 nanometer design is said to be more energy efficient than Turing's 12 nanometer, it is nowhere near TSMC's 7 nanometer node. And that's why we're now seeing these odd unusual decisions, they're basically trying to fix Ampere. That's it. Now, there's been quite a few rumors suggesting that the 3090 doesn't exist. What do you think? Is the 3090 happening or not? Let me know in the comments below. Down below you'll also find everything worth knowing about Nvidia's upcoming RTX 3000 series cards. You'll also find all details around Big Navi and AMD's upcoming GPU lineup. 